So this is Decent Fool with the People News, and I figured this would be a really good video to uh, discuss. And this is what I call Hang Freeman Law. Okay? And I just call it that. It's not out there, right? And I'm sorry about the pop-ups. Again. Uh, I'm not an attorney, so anything I say, always go get legal advice if you cannot handle the matter on your own. Alright, this is my opinion, and uh, this is not a, a commerce commercial uh, video. Alright, uh, I never just look straight forward, y'all. I always look around to find out what benefits me. Uh, this is just one of my uh, things that I call hang a free man law okay and this is from Locke Lesler uh, video if I'm pronouncing it right not roughly sure if I am or ain't but it it draws out attention okay and I'll define it here in a minute okay What do you need to check my driver's license for? We're doing a driver's license check. Check. So we need to see your driver's license. No, you don't. Can you can you tell me what crime I've committed? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Did you catch me speeding? You didn't commit a crime. We're checking for driver's license. Right, so and you can't. This is not a stop and identify state. This is not not a stop and identify state. Twenty two. This location. You, you can't check me for a driver's license if I didn't commit a crime. Yeah. Hey, excuse me, sir. Yes? Can we see your license? No, sir. Can we see your license? Why are you making this hard than what it is? Uh, because I have constitutional rights that keep me from being harassed. We're not harassing you. You are harassing me. And that's and that's a constitutional violation. You cannot stop and identify me unless I've committed a crime. Man, where your license at? Did I commit a crime? Either you give me your license or we're going to break this window and get you out of this car. You Is that a fact? That, Is that a fact? Yes. It, Would you like to lose your qualified immunity? I'm not. You will. All right, stay right here. Hang on, Do you all have a supervisor available? Yep. Okay, can, I, can I speak to your supervisor? Show me your license, you can go on about your business. But you better get arrested for not even want to show your license. Really? Can you tell me what crime I committed? What? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Sir? Can you tell me what crime I've committed? Have you ever been through a roadblock? Do you live in Mississippi? I do live in Mississippi, and I also know my constitutional so rights. I'm just asking you, every time you've been through a roadblock, have you done this? Yes, I have. And what, what did they do? Not a thing. They just let you go? Yes, they do. Where you went through the roadblock at? Um, I've been through them in Vicksburg, right outside the Natchez Trace. Um, I've been through them in the middle of Vicksburg. Man, you're making this hard. I don't even want to go through this with you. Can I just see your license, please? I just have a license. Just me your license, and you can go on about your But I don't understand why. You, what, what you're not understanding is I have a constitutional right not to be stopped no, no, and harassed. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, the issue is on this right here. They created a law contradictory on another law, which is what I call a hang, uh, hang a free man law. Okay, you're stuck in a catch-22 position, right? You cannot have Two laws in conflict with one another that would make both laws null and void. 
right? If people knew how to fight this, uh, both the laws would be null and void on that one particular man or woman because it is in conflict. And this is where we're having the hangman law problem, okay? The uh, Supreme Court uh, also said, and I'm uh, not quote, quote, but look at it this way. You have 126 acres of land, but the Supreme Court says you have a right to be in your uh, persons of the surrounding of your house, right? Uh, but the officers really actually had the right to go on your land and do certain things, special federal agencies, right, without a warrant. But it says to be secure in your property. So how did the Supreme Court says only in your surrounding area of your house and not the rest of the land, right? That right there is in conflict with one another, okay? Now, be just because the Supreme Court says this, it's still conflict. So the Supreme Court was wrong in this decision of that, right? Because now they have uh, two different opinions or what you guys call rules that is in conflict with one another. I have a right to be secure with my property. Period. It don't matter if I have 5,000 square property. Right? They don't just get to come on my land without a warrant. But the Supreme Court says they can't. Well, it's still my property. So that Supreme Court ruling is in conflict within the Constitution. They cannot create a law that contradicts the Constitution, right? Uh, we go with the Fifth Amendment, and I discuss it in other videos, right? When you get pulled over by the cops, you got to be able to show uh, proof of driver's license or registration, and uh, insurance. But if you are innocent until proven guilty, then why do you have to prove yourself? Number one. Okay? Well, it's, it's in court. Well, it, it, maybe that'd be true. However, we're going to go back into the Fifth Amendment. Okay? I do not have to incriminate myself whatsoever. Okay? So, because they got your, uh, your ID, well, they created a court, okay? So, now, since they created this court, they are in violation of the Fifth Amendment, right? Because now you just incriminated yourself. By using that information. So that's a hangman's law. Right? I, I, the Fifth Amendment is not to uh, incriminate yourself, period. Okay? That's the whole, really the whole point of that. And yet, they're telling you that by state law that they can do these things. Well, that's federal law. Okay. Again, we're going to go back into uh, a hangman's law, right? Congress, even though this is incorrect, unconstitutional, uh, any law that Congress passed uh, is for the states, So, but they're going to give the states the power to create laws. So in all actuality, all state laws are actually federal laws. I know, okay, that confuses you. However, that is what it is, which is a hangman's law, a hang free, uh, hang free man's law. Okay, so you damned if you do, dead if you don't. 
but the states accepted that Congress had this power, which they do not have, which is what we all been taught, right? So the states are saying Congress has this law, uh, authority, and the states are saying they have this authority over us, which creates laws that is contradictory to another law. Okay? So in essence of the short term is when as soon as they ask you for your driver's license, registration, and insurance, that is a law that for me it be Texas. That right there is contradictory to the Fifth Amendment. That cannot be, all right? And so it puts the Fifth Amendment and that law into conflict, which means it's null and void. Now, the trick is, because of that, and because we're supposed to be free people in a free country, since there is not no particular law in that case, I'm automatically a free man. Okay, it's to benefit the people. All the laws that's contradictory with one another, all these blank spaces that courts talked about in the Supreme Court, oh, well, don't say this in the Supreme Court, it's to benefit the people. It's, it's blank to keep them free. It's not blank for the Supreme Court to put in feelings. So if it's not there, it's for the benefit of the people. Because they cannot have conflict of laws against another law. Okay? That's the reason why the DWI uh, check is really unconstitutional. Because we're still going back into, once again, there's a law saying you have to do this. There's a law over here saying you you don't have to do this. And yet, this law is saying you could break your windows and take you to jail and all that kind of stuff, and you're just going to have to fight this in court. But it's contradictory to this one particular law. However, the courts went in there and uh, create a opinion, but what you guys call it, a ruling that benefits them but it's still in that ruling it's still conflict so it makes it null and void our founding father says that anything that is against the constitution is null and void all right so when they say that there is a blank space and they don't find nothing. Well, our founding fathers already defined it. Anything against the Constitution is null and void. They defined it already. So, there we go again. Conflict. Conflict. To uh, create a law that I call hang Freeman law. Okay? Now, that being said, I'm not a genius. So don't just go out there and do this, this, and this, and this. This is just what I see to be able to protect myself, not protect y'all. All right? I just kind of thrown it out there for you guys to... Uh, not look straight forward to look around and see what's going on around you okay and this is what i see what's going on around me right they're creating these laws which i call the hang freeman law they're making laws that's contradictory to one another and because of the ignorance of the people they bow down and most people don't want to fight this because of loss of wages, loss of court, loss of time, loss of trouble. And they bank 
on y'all doing that. This is the reason why we are where we are today because people do not stand up for their most important thing, their inalienable rights. It's really interesting when you sit and think about it. To me, okay? And this right here, this video right here, is that one particular circumstance, right? And they're allowed to pull you over to check and verify you have a driver's license, which is actually illegal by their own state law, which is illegal against the Constitution, so there, it, it, it created even three conflicts by that one particular law. The officer did the right thing and says, I don't have time to deal with this and kind of walked away. Too much of a headache, right? But what, that's what they're doing, right? They're creating headaches for us to bow down to them. This one particular guy made the officer bow down, right? But in most cases, that officer makes the people bow down to these uh, hang freeman laws. And if he ever goes to court, will he win? Don't know. Because most attorneys won't treat this as a, a conflict law. Right? Alright, well, this is Diesel Fool with the People News. Um, didn't think about it. I believe that would be the end. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd okay. like me to review. Alright, anyway, uh take it what it is. Uh, again, I'm not attorney. I'm not giving a legal advice. It is my opinion. And I want to be able to protect myself by any means necessary, which is my inalienable rights. Protect myself by any means necessary. In order to do that, I always got to look what's going on around me. And I cannot be focused on one particular deal while all these other things are going on around me because that will cause harm upon me. Decent for we the people news. Till next time, y'all. Bye.